What's going on guys? Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got Foot Champ Highlights Part 1 and you are taking a look at a team and you are seeing two new additions. One being Team of the Year CR7. We're not going to talk about how much I picked them up for, we're just going to push that to our side. And also a Team of the Year Mbappe. The fact that we could afford both of them was an absolute joke, but it's 100% understandable. If you guys haven't watched the like, Foot Champ Awards from last week, please, please go and watch it. You will understand why we can actually afford these two big boys right here. Because that Ultimate Team of the Season pack, let's just say it was no joke. And let's just say I got extremely extremely lucky but yeah i said to myself we have the player of the month in bape we've got the inform cr7 and i told you guys multiple times i didn't see a huge difference between gold cr7 and inform cr7 apart from the shooting ability i noticed his shooting was a little bit better so i knew i needed to get him out of the team it would rather be me upgrading to cr7's best version or going back to his gold card and obviously you know with the funds that came in from last week it was like why would you not why would you not go for the team of the year card especially when he can do stuff like that i'm telling you this team of the year it's so different so so different from that 94 in form he does so much more stuff like his pace better shooting better the guy i'm telling you guys right now shooting ability he doesn't miss even though he hasn't got a five star weak foot the guy does simply not miss left foot right foot it doesn't matter he gets here with so much power so much accuracy and the keepers the keepers have no chance no chance of actually getting it but that's not the only thing he gives you you know like he gives you that physicality as well the pace the passing is pretty nice on him as well he gives you the height the heading ability there's so much things this team of the year cr7 actually does for you it's honestly ridiculous and it's understandable why he is actually going for the price he is going for. But the team of the year Mbappe as well. Let's not get it twisted. One of the best cards in this whole entire game. The difference between this Mbappe and the player, the player of the month is clearly visible. I feel like the dribbling is near enough the same. But obviously the team of the Mbappe just having a little bit of better dribbling I feel like. But everything else you know Mbappe team of the year wins easily like pace it's extremely faster shooting ability is extremely extremely better and even the physicality as well this guy does not get bodied does not get bodied at all he gets it he gets into any contact contact situation with any defender and like any center back or any fullback he will actually beat him and that's something that really really kind of shocked me but it's something that you know if you're paying that much coins for someone, they better not be getting bodied off the ball. That's all I have to say. But yeah, next upgrade is going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Like, I've got a million coins still left over. That's how much coins we actually gained from last week. I couldn't believe it, honestly. The fact that we could afford Team of the Mbappe, Team of the CR7, and still have a million coins left over kind of shocked me in a way, but... You know, with all the with all the team of the seasons we've been getting, it's not already that big of a surprise. But look at this. This guy's gone quite creative, didn't he? Like, there's, you know, not so great team of the seasons. Like, I saw Moreno in there. So, you know, it's quite questionable. But I saw Isaac in there. And we all know, huh, Isaac, a big problem. Big, big problem. Because that guy is hard to stop. Let's just say that. It's a card I absolutely loved when I was reviewing. I thought the guy was going to get in blo a block in there. And, you know, apparently... Apparently, we just got lucky and we ended up getting the goal. Team of the year CR7, though, just going to take it very calm. I saw the way the guy was bringing out the keeper and I was like, what is this guy doing? I might as well just go around him, get a, clearly a wide open shot. And Team of the year CR7, as I said, the guy simply does not miss. But yeah, next upgrade for the team. I mean, even though we've got ourselves a 92 red Neymar. I am looking towards that, you know, that team of the season. That team of the season would be very, very nice into this team. But I feel like, for me, the next thing I'm going to do with the team is probably go for the defensive line. I feel like Alaba, without a doubt, he's an outrageous, outrageous uh, team of the season card. But with Bundesliga, team of the season being this week Friday, I feel like there's going to be an absolutely insane, insane Bundesliga centre-back. That's obviously going to get into the team this season that I want to put straight into that team. So, yeah, that is probably going to be my next upgrade to get Alaba out of here and obviously get a new one just to test him out and see how we go. You know, if I feel like that certain individual of a team of the season doesn't do well, I'll probably bring in Alaba. I'll put, to be fair, I won't even sell Alaba. I feel like I'm going to keep him just for the sake of keeping him, just in case. Just in case the Bundesliga team of the season card that we bring in next week is not, you know, 
exactly great, let's say, that I can, you know, just switch them around, throw Alaba in there, and it's not going to affect me when it comes down to weaker league. But yeah, we're obviously going to see how it goes. I'm not sure who's going to get it as a team of the season, as a team of the season centre back from the Bundesliga. I've literally no idea because I don't watch the league too much. Obviously, you know, when it comes down to buying and all, we, we see Lewandowski bang goals so I'll find out there. But yeah, centre backs and stuff, I don't really focus on them too much. So I'm not sure who's good not sure who's gonna be the Bundesliga defenders, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I heard Angelino. Angelino could be one, and I'm quite, you know, quite interested in Angelino because he would be some outrageous card. I heard he's going to be really, really nice all rounded as well. But once again, we're not sure. You know, it, there's been no leaks, there's been no confirmation, so you never know who could slide in to the team of the season. But yeah, I am definitely looking towards that Neymar Tots card. That Neymar Tots card, it, could it be better than Team of the ECR 7 and Team of the Year Mbappe? It probably could because of that five-star weak foot. But then Team of the Year, Ronaldo, obviously gives you that heading ability, which Neymar is not going to do it. But, you know, it, it's like Neymar, this 92 in form, and even his gold card feels amazing when he's doing skill moves, how he feels on a ball, how his pace comes into play, shooting, the fact that you can hit it with either foot as well. It's unreal. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping for a Team of the Season, Neymar, and I'm not sure how much he's going to go for. I reckon it goes for... A good amount of price, so let's just say that. Probably like 6 mil plus. Mbappe on the ball, though. Look at that little finish towards in it post. I'm telling you. Team of the Mbappe with Team of the CR7 in the striker positions. Joke. Absolute joke. You're guaranteed to score at least a goal a game or like two goals a game. The amount of angles and the runs these guys give you is... It's on a whole new level. Whole, whole new level. And that's something I did notice, by the way, from this Team of the Year CR7. The movement, compared to the 94, you can't even compare. Like, I was honestly shocked at the movement this Team of the Year CR7 was actually doing. But look at this. Look at me. Look at me enjoying myself. Look at this. This is how you know you just got a new card into your team. Look at the shielding, bro. To even And then the lack of... Oh, it's so perfect, man. It's so perfect. Like, you can tell... I've got a new player into the team if I'm doing stuff like that. But look at that. Wow. 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 If that went in, there's not much to say. I'm going to be honest. There's not much to say. And I was 4-0 up in that game. So I was like kind of, you know, messing around, let's say. I was just trying stuff that I've never tried with like a 94 CR7. But we see this guy's team. You see Hullet in there and you see an actual decent team. But then this guy scores an own goal, pauses the game. And ends up leaving. I was like, hold up a second. That guy's actually got a decent team. I'm not sure if it was one of those people that looked at the opponent's team and then realized that they had no chance because of a team of the year, a team of the year Mbappe and a team of the year CR7. So they ended up just giving me the win and just ended up leaving. You know, I feel like it is probably gonna be one of those situations because as soon as you see this team in weekend league, yeah, it, you know, you the high, the chances of you losing are quite high because you don't have to have, let's say you don't have to have much, much skill to be using these two strikers. You just shoot and it will end up in the back of the net. It's simple as that. But 2 0 up, very early off. CR7 going to go for that cheeky, you know, ball roll to a scoop turn. The things that we always, always do. And we're going to make that guy rage quit. Another pretty decent team. Moment Petit is a card I haven't seen in a long time, though. You got Maradona, you got, uh, what's it called, Team of the Season Son, which we all know we do not allow that guy to shoot. Because if we allow that guy to shoot, big, big problems, big problems. You know it's going to end up in the back of the net. CR7 though, little Buro into the inside. Give it to Mbappe here. Fake shot on the stop. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, it's literally perfect, man. I'm telling you, the way you can send players for hot dogs with these kind of players, yeah, it's unheard of. Let's just say that. But this guy's going to pause it before I take the penalty. So I'm sitting here like, if I score this, most likely... He is going to leave the game. But look who steps up to take it. I have Team of the Year Ronaldo in this team. I have a Team of the Year Mbappe. I have an informed Neymar. And still, still, my boy Alaba has better penalties than ever. Actually, I don't think he has better penalties than Neymar. But the reason I don't use Neymar is because of his run-up. I hate hate his run-up like he goes quite slow and then he proper slows down right at the end so it's like really hard to actually kind of time the penalty with so that's the only reason i don't use neymar on pens but yeah alaba he was an absolute gift 
absolute gift when it came down to the penalties because his run up for me is literally perfect. But look at Neymar. I start to do the, do that a lot, by the way. The fake shot into a reverse flip flap. Like usually you see a normal flip flap that will go to the left side, but the reverse flip flap has really, really like got onto me, and I'm starting to like really enjoy it. But into the next game, I see a Fofana. I think I saw. Was it Todibo? I'm not 100%. I, I think he was in the defensive line. I go for a crazy RBX. Clearly, cl clearly should never, ever work. But somehow, I actually end up getting lucky. This guy starts panicking. He gives it straight to my Atal. Mbappe turns the guy inside out. And look at the composure. We dropped three players with a simple little turn and a simple little ball roll. But that guy is going to go ahead and rage quit. Going into the next game, we see N'Golo Kante. We see Gundo. We see some decent icons. You know, like, obviously, Moment Style Gleesh is very, very good to see. Figo, on the other hand, though... A little bit questionable. Not, not you know, not crazy questionable, but a little bit questionable. You don't see a lot of people actually use Figo this year. But look at Neymar. Going to go for that little flick. Look at Mbappe. Did you see the original run when I had the ball with Neymar? what he actually did like he was making an upwards run and i realized it was a good run but it wasn't a run i wanted so i passed it back to kimmich mbappe instantly realized that triggered his run going the other way and gave me this opportunity to get a penalty and once again your boy alaba is going to step up to the plate and he is going to go for a yellow time pen uh, penalty and we are going to go ahead and score it another guy that's got moments dull leash by the way foot birthday royce this time with a headline on morris that morris card was such a gift such a gift. I can't believe they actually put it as an SBC as well. And obviously, you know, we had to go ahead and do it. But look at this. How he nearly scored that kind of blew my mind. But look at this. Look at this guy. He was holding on to that ball to save his entire life, boys. I could not believe it. But yeah, into 58th minute now. Going to give it to Mbappe. Look at that. How we do not score. That's a team of the year, Mbappe. And that makes you question a little bit. You're telling me if... We had a five-star weak foot play right there. That probably would go in. But this guy turns me, turns me inside out with a moment style leash. But listen, we are not going out with our fight. CR7 with the ball, seeing if I can maybe get these angles. I tried to go for a shot across goal. This guy panics. He goes for a tackle. We get a penalty. And this is a pretty much a lifeline we're talking about because it's the 72nd minute. This guy is keeping the ball the whole entire game. Whole entire game. To the point where we didn't even have a shot in the first half. So I knew I needed to put this into the back of the net. This right here is a winning penalty. It's simple as that. We make it 1-0. I know now that this guy's probably going to start to panic. Because it's coming near the 90th, it's coming near the 90th minute. So we know what's going to happen. Ataldo, seeing if I can maybe pass it into the inside. Neymar going to go for that power shot towards the near post. He leaves it pretty much wide open. And we are going to get that second goal which was literally crucial but look what happened second half did you see it the stats completely completely changed listen that guy wanted that ball so badly so badly in that first half that i knew i was going to come out the second half and keep the ball wait till he pushed out to me and we're going to be good to go. But that is going to be it for part one. We are going to end on a 15 and 0. A great way to start off part one. But can we continue to part two and get that 30 and 0. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.